Okay, so this video is going to be about my new transmitter. Um, it has three stages. The oscillator, uh, an amplifier, and the final amplification stage. Uh, this is just a little Hartley oscillator. It's the coil back there in the tank capacitor. And the little tube. Uh, this is just a s an amplifier. And there's the output coil. And a coupling coil. That drives the grid of this tube. And that drives that coil, which is going into the light bulb. Now, um, I'm actually not going to transmit with this, because um, that's illegal, but I will just show it lighting up a light bulb. So, I'm going to get everything warmed up and uh, shoot it. Okay, so now everything's warmed up. You can see the tubes all lit up. Kind of. Um, so I'm going to turn on the exciter and you can see the waveform. Now I'm going to turn on the final amplifier. You can see the light bulb light up. And now I'm going to give it some modulation. Now I know you can't really see it that well, but the music is modulating it pretty good. Okay, I kind of want to turn that off. I don't want to get in trouble. See the local oscillator running at about 3.1 megahertz. And, um... Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go into the circuit diagram and show how it works. Okay, this is going to be hard to do because of my shaky hands and also because there's three pages of it, but this is the schematic. Right here is the first oscillator. Um, it is just a, a tube and a Hartley oscillator. Oh, um, I forgot to draw it actually. There's a tap right here that goes to... Um, B plus. Um, I don't know. Let me just draw that. I'll be back, right back. Okay, well, there's just supposed to be a tap there. Um, it's a 15 turn coil and it's tapped at five turns. There's a 250 picofarad um, capacitor there and a one mega ohm grid leak resistor and a 60 picofarad capacitor. And that goes through about a 90 picofarad capacitor into the into one of the first amplifiers. Um, this basically just drives a coil and um, it is modulated by the screen grid right there. So you can see this amplifier section is really simple. I mean it's just a tube with um, different connections to it. Um, See up here, just a coil in the capacitor to achieve resonance, and then a tap, and an RF choke to 300 volts. And if we follow that um, screen grid, we find a 240 ohm to 0.5 ohm transformer that's going to plus 150 volts. And if we follow the 0.5, section it goes over to the amplifier the modulator and um, it is just basically a tube amp with um right here's the audio input it's um about uh it's i changed it from high impedance to low impedance by adding a transformer it is a uh, 200 ohms to 0.5 ohms and um Normally, if I want to connect uh, something like a phone to it, I put an 8 ohm resistor in series with that. Then there's a 5k ohm volume control and a 0.5 microfarad capacitor going into the tube. And then a 500k ohm resistor from the grid to ground to negatively bias it. Then there's um, a 1k ohm. A cathode resistor and a 10 microfarad 
bypass capacitor that feeds over. Oh, also, there's a 100 k ohm uh, resistor on the plate to B plus. Then there's a 0.5 microfarad capacitor into the second tube. Um, and this also has a 500 k resistor from the grid to ground. And this one has a 100 ohm cathode resistor and a 10 microfarad bypass. And then it has a 9k ohm resistor going from the screen grid to B+. And then a 120 ohm to 0.5 ohm transformer. And that feeds the screen grid of this tube. This one has 190 volts of B+. And then if we go all the way over here to the out part, out, output part, we see just some um, capacitors on the input. And then um, the output tube. And that basically just drives the coil. Oh, okay, there's also supposed to be a capacitor here. This is also a, one p a 100 picofarad capacitor there. Then there's another RF choke, and right here is the power supply for that tube, which is a 1 kilovolt. And then that goes to the light bulb. That is... Uh, okay, let's, let's take a look at all of the power supplies and stuff. Here's the power supply for this tube. It is a 24 volt AC transformer feeding a microwave oven transformer and that puts out about 1000 volts for some weird reason. Then that goes into a rectifier, into a capacitor, then through this um, choke right here, and through another capacitor, and then through the primary of an ignition coil, and then to one end of the coil. The end other end of this is grounded to the tube. Now this is something that I didn't draw in the schematic and this was a negative bias supply for this tube but I found that it really doesn't run well with it so I just have it shorted out. So that is pretty much it for a transmitter that will unfortunately never be on the air but it was fun building it. Um, thanks for watching.